A prior abutment was given for a patient for the condition shown in the image. Identify the correct statement. Before we look at the options, let us understand what this image is showing us. Alright, so basically it's a question about prior abutment. Now in this image, as you can see, the first premolar and the first molar are missing. And your second premolar is having edentulous spaces present, mesial and distal to it. So basically here, your second premolar is your prior abutment. A prior abutment is nothing but an abutment which has edentulous spaces present, mesial and distal to it, basically on both sides. So now before we look at the options, let us understand what problems we face with the prior abutment. Alright? So as you see in this first picture, alright? Now if you try restoring your two edentulous spaces next to your prior abutment with a single 5 unit FPD, what will happen is under occlusal stresses, there might be some forces acting on your prior abutment which will make it act as a fulcrum. Alright, so when this starts acting as a fulcrum, it might cause damage to your anterior most abutment. Now damage like it may cause dislodging of your retainer from this abutment and if the retainer dislodges there might be some secondary caries there could be intrusion of the abutment all right so altogether it's not a good practice to give such long span bridges with a rigid connection so the way to deal with this is to give or use a non-rigid connection all right so a non-rigid connection basically it it acts as a stress breaker so it provides even stress distribution all right so let us look at this image which is, which is a better image now as you can see in this image there are the fpd is split into two parts all right and this fpd is connected in the middle by a small key you can see here and this is the key way all right so what happens is this key engages into this key way it seats on this and then we cement your prosthesis so basically your stress distribution gets better with this kind of an assembly and because it breaks the stress the fulcrum motion is avoided in this technique so in this question they have asked us the location if you look at the options they have asked about the placement of the key and the key way in the options they've given key is present on the distal surface of prior abutment or on the mesial surface of distal abutment so they have just given a variety of surfaces the basic part of the question is where they want to know the location of your key and the key way all right so let us look where the key is and where the key way comes from. So this is the key way. The key way is present on your prior abutment on the distal aspect of it. All right. And the key, which is the projection, it is present on your distal most abutment on the mesial aspect. All right. So we know the locations of the key and the key way. Now let us get back to the options. Okay, the first option says key is present on the distal surface of prior abutment and key way on the mesial surface of distal abutment. This is wrong. The second option says key is present on the mesial surface of distal abutment and key way on the distal surface of prior abutment. Alright, so this seems correct. Mesial surface of distal abutment is your key and key way is on the distal surface of your prior abutment all right once again let's look at the image so it gets clearer so have a look again so this is your distal most abutment on the mesial surface you have the key all right and this is your prior abutment and on the distal surface you have your key way now other than this about the prior abutment, you may also be asked about the other options of treatment that can be provided rather than the non-rigid connector. So basically you can restore such cases by using a cantilever pontic. 
all right this is another treatment option where you do not provide a retainer on top of your canine so the five rigid five unit fpd where the rigid connection is avoided and the cantilever is present in the region of your first premolar all right so this avoids the fulcrum on your wire abutment okay so there's no fulcrum in this another way of restoring is by using a split pontic technique so what they do is they split the pontic into two parts so again this acts as a stress breaker okay so this is another way of restoring such cases the third way and the best way to deal with it if the anatomy is favorable and the medical condition then implants do not forget that option all right Thank you.